subtracting functions algebraically and graphically. The two functions are given to us in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, so we know they are linear functions. And the graphs of these functions look like this, the f of x being the one in orange, with a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of 3. The g of x function passes through the y-axis at negative 3, the slope is 2. If we were asked to subtract the functions, it might look like this, f minus g of x. That simply means f of x minus g of x. So we can write these vertically. We can subtract the like terms. So 3x minus 2x is 1x. And 4 minus negative 3 is really 4 plus 3, or 7. I could verify this by typing in f of x and g of x into a graphing utility and then typing in f of x minus g of x, and I would get this red line, which does match up with my symbolic form, because the y-intercept is 7 and the slope is 1. So that is how we subtract functions. Now sometimes we're asked to subtract, well we should first pay attention to the fact that the difference of two linear functions should be linear. Okay, next, what if we're asked to evaluate f minus g of negative 3. Well, I'm looking at my graph now, and I'm, my eyes, I'm looking at the x-axis. I'm at negative 3. I go up to meet the curve, and I can see that f minus g of negative 3 will equal 4, because the curve passes through, or the, the um, line passes through negative 3 comma 4. So I could have used my expression for f minus g of x. I could have substituted negative 3 in place of x, you see. I did not need a graph to do this. And then I would have had the same answer. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. Now please keep in mind f minus g of x can be broken apart into f of x minus g of x. Similarly, f minus g of negative 3 can be broken apart like this. I can substitute negative 3 in place of my f of x function and negative 3 in place of my g of x function. Just be very careful when you're subtracting functions, you really need grouping symbols around the second function. Now we can evaluate what's inside each bracket, and I get negative 5 minus negative 9, that's negative 5 plus 9, or 4.